What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we're going to be playing this draw and spawn game. So this game's really cool. It's similar to some other drawing games that we played on Roblox where like whatever you draw, you can make come to life. But in this game, they can actually like move around and battle each other and follow you around the map. What is this over here? Is that it kind of looks like a dinosaur? I don't know what this thing is, but are they about to battle each other? Oh yeah, look at this. The dinos... I think that that's a dinosaur. It kind of looks like a green chicken nugget. They're battling each other. But as you can tell, the the dinosaur is extremely strong. I don't know how he got that strong, but hopefully we can make our monsters just as strong. So what do we got over here? We got this wheel. Let's go ahead and spin it. They're probably just going to give us like one free spin. We can get paint cans and boss tokens. All right, we got 50 paint cans. Who should we make first? I think I kind of want to start with, uh, what's his name? Benito. Benito's like the, the green Garna Bam Bam monster that was hinted for, I think it was Garna Bam Bam 6, but who knows? He might be in Garna Bam Bam 5. I had to look him up on my phone, so I'm actually looking at a picture right now. I can't really remember what Benito would look like by memory. I want to make sure that I at least get this first drawing right, and then all the rest I'll probably end up just doing it by memory. So I think that that would be right, just having the chair right there. And then he has this, like, real thin neck. And his body is like an alien, so we're just gonna go like that, make it real basic. He is kind of just a basic character. He's like an alien. I don't even know if this is gonna work, you guys, because the chair is, like, right on his neck. Maybe it needs to be down by his legs? I have no idea, but we're just gonna test this out. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest of his face here. So let's just go like this. We'll make his eyes. I don't know if somebody's, like, trying to slice me with a sword. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> Is this what his nostrils look like? <laughs> I know that he has, like, a real big, wide mouth like that. Yeah, he kind of looks like he's smiling. He's a very happy Benito. There we go. Now he's gonna fight. I think he looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and spawn him. Oh, so we can actually spawn him as an NPC, a prop, a pet, a hat for my head. I don't know what that would look like. Let's start with NPC. I, I wanna see what these look like for each different setting. Oh, look at that. It's Benito the NPC, and this guy is sitting on the chair. Why is he sitting on him? Hey, that's my Benito. Get off of him. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to sit on him like a car. Oh, so that's what the chair is. Let's try something different. How about... How about make him a pet? We're gonna make him follow us. Come on, Benito. Oh, we still have the one over there, too. So we have like a little Benito pet, a uh, Benito NPC that's just kind of wandering around waiting for people to sit on him. But what else could we spawn him as? How about a hat for our head? What is this going to look like if we put him on top of our head? It literally looks like he's on top of our head because he is. And we still have our pet. Where did our NPC go? I think he disappeared. Maybe you can only have two of them out on the spawn at once let's try to make him a boss is that oh it's robux because you need boss tokens okay here we go benito boss is spawning in does anyone want to battle him oh he's huge who's this guy over here that looks like uh another dinosaur can we make him attack spawned an attacker doodle wait are they oh they're fighting Get him, Benito! Here, I'll sit on him while you defeat him. <laughs> Dude, this game is so cool. Look at this guy coming over here. I think he's gonna try to take Benito down. Go and attack. Jump on the battlefield, dude. Attack this dino right now. I don't know if he's doing it. He's just standing there. Bro, you're a boss. Oh, he's headbutting him. Get him, Benito, get him. Attack, fight to the death. I don't know if we're going to be able to defeat this guy. But Benito's taking him down. Look at his damage. Oh, he's going to get oofed. Yes, Benito for the win. <laughs> and he fell. He collapsed. All right. Good job, Benito. Do I 
Oh, I, I win paint. All right, guys, let's make another creation. I want to make Syringin. And I know I said I wasn't going to look at a picture, but I think I kind of have to because I want to make it resemble somewhat of like a good drawing here. So I have a picture of Syringin up on the screen. Let's go ahead and I guess we could just start with... Do we have to start with a seat? I have no idea if that's what we have to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just like we did before. So let's see if... Ooh, this is going to be tough, you guys, because he's very tall. Maybe I should start with his head. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, because his head has to fit on the screen. So I need to make sure that I take up this whole top part with just his syringe and head. Maybe I should make it thinner, actually. The brush is way too thick. Let's go with five. Oh, yeah, that's much better. All right, so his head has this, like, I don't know what it is. It's almost like a hammerhead shark, kind of. It's very strange. And then he's got this wide mouth. And then it goes up to his arm. He's got four syringe arms. The tricky part, I think, is going to be where his legs start. It's definitely going to be hard to fit it all on the canvas. I don't want to make it too big. Okay, he's going to have little legs. Sorry, Syringin. Your legs are very short. But hey, that's the best that I can do. Look how much it fills up the canvas. Now, let's go ahead and color him in. I wanted to do Garnabambang -Bam characters because I feel like they would be like pretty simple to draw. It's pretty much just like one solid color. And then you make their eyes and their mouth. Now we need gray. We have to make the tools that Syringin has on his forearms. So we're gonna look for a gray color. Yeah, he's got like a scissor tool on this arm so that he can snip his victims. And then he's got like a claw right here. It's almost like a grabber to grab his tools. And I'm pretty sure that these other two hands, these are supposed to be kind of like syringes. So we're just gonna make them syringes because it's syringin. I'm definitely running out of room. They do not give you enough room on these, these canvases. But he is a giant character. Especially if I make him a boss, he's going to be huge. Let's fill in some details here. I need to go down to like two. Yeah. I do want to outline him as well. I think he would look really good if we made an outline. But I need more ink, bro. More ink. 250 Robux? I guess it's worth it for Syringin. Guys, they barely even gave me enough ink. Oh my gosh. I wish I could just pay to fill it up. They barely gave us enough. I don't even think I can outline him. No, dude. I wanted to outline it. It would look so cool. I better not run out of ink when I'm trying to finish this. He's going to look ridiculous if he isn't complete. There we go. That's Syringin, dude. He looks so cool. Let's try to outline his eyeballs because we do have some more ink. Oh, no, guys, we're going to run out of ink. It doesn't matter. No, out of ink. Oof. Okay, what should we do for him? Let's uh, let's make him a pet first. I want Syringin to spawn out as a pet. I don't want him to battle yet. Look at this thing, dude. Is that? It's like a battleship and a dragon. Are we about to battle that thing? Look at Syringin. He looks so cool. Oh, the outline makes it that much better. I wish I could finish the outline on him. These guys really like to battle over here. I think we need to spawn him out as a boss. We're going to make him a huge boss. Oh, you can also make him sparkle. Let's make Syringe and Sparkle. I got to buy VIP. I'm spending so much Robux, dude. Yeah, here we go. Spawn out the giant Syringe. And he's sparkly. Wow. Dude, there's no way you're going to be able to take me down, Mr. Dragon. Get him, Syringin. The giant sparkly Syringin boss is battling the dragon. Bruh, we're definitely going to win. Sorry, dude. Your dragon is no match against my gigantic Syringin. Let's go. He's battling everyone. Even the battleship. They don't stand a chance. What is this thing? Is that a monkey? It's like a purple monkey. <laughs> is this guy trying to battle us right now? What's going on over here? It's a headless stick figure. 
There's no way you're going to be able to take down my sparkly syringin mega boss. He's too strong. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, bro. You don't even have a head. Oof. There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> so does he just like hang out in the middle right here and just try to battle anybody that steps up to him? Oh my gosh. That is awesome, dude. Okay. Should we do another one? I don't know who else to do. We have... Ooh, we could do Bitter Giggles. What about like a giant Bitter Giggles boss? We could do Queen Bound Celia, Sheriff Toadster. For this one, I'm definitely going to add more paint. I didn't even know you could do this. We're going to do double the paint cans. And we'll also add 975 paint cans. I don't know why it's not just 1,000. There we go. We have over 1,000 paint that we can use. Let's get a new drawing in here. Is this going to save? I don't know if I saved the last one, you guys. Oh, no. Did I not save that last one? Oh, well. I can always redraw it. Yeah, clear the body. Get this thing out of here. We need to draw a giant bitter giggles. Because he has, he, he has like more details, but he's split in half. You got to split the blue with the green. And he's also another tall character. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys, because he's so tall. I think I need to redo it and make his head a little smaller. Yeah, like this. That'll definitely work better. I can't really tell what his hands look like. Probably just like regular hands. Because he's kind of like a Jester mascot. So he's probably like a human inside that Jester costume. All right, there we go. We have that color done. Now we're going to go with the green. We have to try and make this as accurate as possible so it doesn't look ridiculous. I want to redo that. We need to make his head a little bigger like that. Bitter Giggles is definitely the easier character to make. I thought he was going to be really hard. I think that's how his feet look, right? Like he's he has like jester shoes on. I don't remember. Oh no, I need to make layers here. I don't want to mess this up. It's not going to look as good when I'm filling it in until we outline it. We just got to finish the black outline and then he will look much better. Doesn't he have like a line? Down the middle, because he, he's kind of wearing like a bodysuit. Yeah, I think that looks good. And we'll make his eyeball. And we got to make it a little bigger. Yeah. Bitter giggles. And his mouth. It's like a smiley face, sad face. Ooh. This is looking good. But he also has this outline around his eyes, doesn't he? I think it's like green right there. And then it's probably going to be blue on the other side. All right, I think that that is good enough. And for no reason at all, we're going to put a banana in his hand. Because Bitter Giggles likes bananas. All right, there we go, guys. Bitter Giggles is complete, and we're going to make him neon. I don't know why there's a crown right there. Is he going to become a king? We're about to find out. Make him neon, sparkly, and a huge boss. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> what the heck is that? Sparkly, neon, bitter giggles, the big boss. And he's like coming out of his outline. Is he dancing? Can't tell what he's doing. Can I sit on the chair though while he battles? Wait, hold on. I want to sit on the chair. Bitter giggles with the banana in his hand. Come here. It won't let me, it won't let me sit on the chair. I think everyone is afraid to battle him because nobody else is out here in the battle zone. They are too afraid of bitter banana giggles. Neon sparkly. I'm just going to collect paint while he runs around and tries to find somebody that wants to, uh, I guess, hang out with him and be his friend. <laughs> These were so cool, though. My favorite was definitely Syringin and then the bitter giggles. I'm surprised at how... How cool it looks like that. I like the neon color. He's very, very glowy. Wait, who is this? Is that Doodle Bob from SpongeBob SquarePants? Are you really trying to battle me, bro? You do not want to battle Bitter Banana Giggles. Oh, both of them are going to battle me. Did I get him? Oh, I think I just... Okay, I think he oofed somebody. Dude, there's no way that Doodle Bob, two Doodle Bobs, are going to be able to defeat my creation. They're too strong. Look at that. Doodle Bob, you're almost oof, dude. 
You got like no health left. You guys, that's gonna be it for this video though. I hope you enjoyed this awesome draw and spawn game in Roblox. If you guys want to see more games like this, hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace!